Duncan MacLeod, a Highlander. In the end, there can be only one. May it be Duncan MacLeod, the Highlander. Series we did, we did martial arts. I mean, I studied martial arts for about 12 years now. Uh, my style that I do, which is Hungar, I've done for about eight years. And my teacher, Vernon Rieta, is with me to, to enhance the style that I already have. Here, uh, all right, so if I'm, if I'm like that then, then the next shot he has, he pulls down here, yeah, yeah. which I have to do this to, like this. It's that block, and he comes here and I do this. And on top of that, we also have Donnie Yen. Please in here. Who is a very good martial artist from uh, Hong Kong, who has come in to lend his style and his um, ideas on shooting a, a martial art blend. I, w I would like to say we have a blend of East meets West in this movie. Well, first of all, this is the first English speaking film for me. I've been doing uh, Hong Kong style films uh, for the past 17 years, and this is the first film for me. And in the beginning, I find it a little different, you know, the way we work in over in Hong Kong, as opposed to Hollywood films. The budget is huge difference. We do not have the kind of budget that the average Hollywood films fortunately have. It's not a Hong Kong style entirely, but it's not a Western movie entirely either. And I think that's kind of what's interesting about it. I was also hired as the martial art choreographer because of the success of many other Hollywood films where they're putting the certain Hong Kong martial art flavor into the films. It would eventually give it a a new flavor to the whole picture. And that's exactly what I did with it, trying to collaborate the, the, the very Hong Kong martial arts style into the original Highlander. I never really actually had the chance to um, show a lot of hand techniques. And um, uh, we have in this movie uh, Donnie Yen, who is a very good martial artist from uh, Hong Kong. And uh, at the same time, I wanted to increase my, my hand stuff. So my uh, teacher, uh, Vernon, Rieta came to give me my style that I could use in this movie and we could incorporate not only just doing hand to techniques hand to hand but also using hand, feet, feet uh, and, and weapon at the same time. Yeah, I'll do this. And he turns this way. And then I can do this, this, because right, it's two right, shots. Right. So unless I'm doing this, like this, which yeah. is better. Adrian had studied uh, martial arts for at least uh, 11 years and um, about eight of, the, eight of that years has been with me. Uh, studying a style called Hunga or Charlie Fat, and this style is uh, really uh, a Shaolin-based kung fu style that has its uh, origination in the uh, in the the Buddhist temple. So by looking at it, it seems like uh, you're looking at violence, but where we stem, what stems uh, to be the the vital energy is peace and tranquility. It's uh, hard to for you to understand that by looking at the weapons that is swinging around, but the real reality of it is that that peace and tranquility to the monks, to body physiology, to the understanding of, uh, of what makes you work uh, for longevity. If protecting yourself is longevity, by all means, it's, it's, a, it's a good basis to start from. I'm a perfectionist, so when I work, uh, regardless of a different environment or different dialogues or, or I have different uh, actors which I play against, uh, I try to do the best I can. And as a martial art choreographer, I try to choreograph as best I can and try to, to, to bring uh, the experience that I gather for many years in Hong, working in Hong Kong and trying to incorporate with this whole crew here. I mean, I call the Hong Kong film making very guerrilla filmmaking so opposed to to this this is this is in the end there can be only one may it be Duncan MacLeod the Highlander